We want effective background checks. We want the list, the no-fly list, to be honored in such a way that potential dangerous, demented people will not be able to so casually purchase firearms. Representative James Clyburn, vocal on the need for gun control legislation as this sit-in continues by House Democrats. It took some quick thinking so that Americans could actually see their stance to sit down. News 2's chief national correspondent, Jim Osman, has that part of the story. Good morning. It's not every day when some members of Congress take over a chamber and sit on the floor. You may shut off our mics, you may shut off our cameras, but you may, will never shut down the voice of the American people. And the Democrats had to be creative in order to get the story out to the rest of the world. These members took to the well of the Congress when it wasn't in session. And a House GOP aide put out, cameras are only on when the House is in session which means a Democratic member from California used live streaming a mobile app called Periscope to get video images out, which were then showed on C-SPAN. Sometimes you have to do something out of the ordinary. Sometimes you have to make a way out of no way. We have been too quiet for too long. There comes a time when you have to say something, when you have to make a little noise. John Lewis leading the sit-in has historical significance considering his place in the U.S. civil rights movement. It still didn't pry the majority from its stance on the sit-in. A spokeswoman for House Speaker Paul Ryan said the House cannot operate without members following the rules of the institution so the House has recessed subject to the call of the chair. And that's what a lot of folks may not know, that the House of Representatives control the cameras in the chamber and not C-SPAN. I'm Chief National Correspondent Jim Osman reporting this morning from Washington. Some Republican lawmakers say they're willing to compromise in regards to gun control. Senator Lindsey Graham is co-sponsoring a bill to keep anyone on the no-fly list from being able to buy a gun. He voted against a similar piece of legislation earlier in the week. We also looked into the history of congressional sit-ins and how effective they've been. Back in 1995, it's only happened twice since the 70s, in 95, House Democrats spent a few hours on the floor protesting the budget. But then in 19, or 2008, House Republicans seized the floor for the entire recess to demand that Democrats let them vote on oil drilling to lower gas prices. And that one led to a vote. 